Hey, what's up? Sweaty Gorilla here, and welcome back once again. I'm kind of giggling right now. Um, so yeah, welcome back once again. This is Sequence 7, Memory 1. I really don't know what's um, going on, but I know we heard a couple gunshots out in the... Um, the NASA har the NASA harbor. So let's just see if we can <coughs> make our way towards the um the beach. I kind of parked myself so far out here. Yep, so it's going down. There's a huge ship out there. Sequence seven, part one. Yep, the British are attacking. Well, I'll be hanged. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the king's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily living punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception... Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. All right, I'm gonna climb my way up. Show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be executed. Won't do you a little good. Oh crap! Like him are a blight on his master's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. I hope that they didn't see that. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your man. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. All right, I guess we're gonna have some kind of conversation. The king has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, and has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about His Majesty, Governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. These guys are everywhere. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All oh, others crap. are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Go. Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. You should be oh crap. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. I know well armed. We are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our This is going pretty bad. I'm doing a great job to clean it up. We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the king's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearings. 
Silence, Commodore. <clears throat> I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decisions. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Alright, it seems like the British already took over some kind of fort. These guys like brung a whole entire army down here. Stop. I'm gonna take this guy right off his. Okay. Back in the grip, making a run for it. Got him. Ah! All right, last guard. I usually don't do this with the objectives, but maybe I can just do one. Got him. Sabotage the alarm bells. Don't tell me that there's another guy. Of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. Oh crap. So if I just follow this, I think I can take him out. I think this should be okay. Cool. 
And these guys can actually see off from long distance. Let's get down there and just just loot them. Perfect. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the cell. I am sorry for this, but in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Heath! Commodore Chamberlain, we are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. I hope, um, the NASA gang. God save you. Yeah, hopefully these guys didn't sort us out. Come on, this is a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what dignity we Peace. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth is talent, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you folksal headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, man! Bastards! I need a drink. Alright. So sub is really going down. Um The only thing I know so far is these guys must give up NASA so the British forces can actually reclaim it, but it seems like Two of them want to give it up, and the other two don't want to give it up. Okay. Alright. So I guess we gotta double back to the location. Let me close off the chapter. And so... Hopefully you guys and ladies enjoy this. My name's E12, E12 Sky, whatever floats your boat. And hopefully I will be seeing you uh, in the next episode. Peace out. And as always, take your time out of your day to enjoy it. Take it easy. Peace out.